I don't want to break it. I don't want to break it. You fold that little, and it's locked. In. Get up. Hello, and welcome. Right, an interesting one today. We've got a. F Wait a minute. Let me fix this. That's better. Okay. Furch. Furch. For, I'm going to find out when I get there. Furch guitars. Check the size of the box. Interesting. It's an acoustic guitar. It's a travel acoustic guitar. And we're certainly going to put it through its paces today. Hang around. There's going to be quite a lot of interesting stuff happening. This guitar is going to travel far. But first, let's unbox it. Okay, so we're getting out of the box. That wasn't easy. Very well packed. That was a bit too hard. Okay, it's in a backpack, but it's not just a backpack. It's a guitar in a backpack, an acoustic guitar in a backpack, a travel acoustic guitar in a backpack. Let's check it out. Right, so while I'm opening this up and attempting to assemble it, I need to tell you a wee story about Furch. Furch. I'll figure out how to say it eventually. So Furch Guitars are attending 42 Gear Street, which is where I'm heading to tomorrow. And they reached out to the YouTube channels who are going to be traveling if they were interested in checking out their travel guitar. Check this out, what's going on here? Right, so, oh, this is pretty interesting. Don't know if you can see this. So we've got the guitar body, got strings. <laughs> I could see the neck is inside the sound hole and we've got the headstock on the side here. So let's figure this out. So yeah, Furch thought it would be a good idea to send this to channels who are traveling with it so we could do the travel experience. So I'm actually going to take this with me to Germany and return it to Furch. This is not a sponsored video. I just said I would do some vloggy stuff, but I think it's a cool product. So well, it's a cool concept. I don't know if it's any good. Let's take the guitar body out of the bag, oh, and the headstock, it's noisy, move the bag to the side, silence, so there's the headstock here, and we've got, ow, oh got like a tube. Can you see this? Tube to go into the neck. Right, let's try and get the neck out. So here's the neck here and the shoulder. Let's see how easy this is to assemble. I'll need to remember how to put that back in. Right, I think I'm going to put the headstock on first. There's maybe instructions, I've not looked at them. Wow, that part was easy. I can't even see the seam, that's pretty cool. Right, so. The only thing I'm worried about is if I've twisted the strings at all, have I? No, I think everything might be in place. Let's see how this goes in. I don't want to break it. I don't want to break it. Okay, I've broke a string. Or I've popped the string out on a saddle. I've done it the wrong way. Is the headstock going last? I'm going to read some instructions to get back to you. Hold on. Right. Let's see if I can find some instructions. Nope. Nope. Aha. Obviously check the front pocket first, that makes the most sense. What have we got here? Okay, we've got a Furch sticker, decal. A little mojo bag, what's in here? That's too fiddly to open. Oh, I could feel it's uh, 
Allen keys, hex keys for some form of adjustments. And this must be the instructions here. Sorry, I want to open this carefully because it's going back to four. I don't want to rip the envelope, it's so nicely sealed. Oh, okay. It's a certificate of authenticity. Good to know that it's the real deal, but where's the instructions? Hold on. It's bagging. Okay, I'm just going to check the box. Okay, so there was nothing in the box, so I had to watch a couple of review videos to figure it out. Henning Polly's. Hello, Henning. I've just found from Alamo Music, they've put it together. You take and you bring the neck back while you fold that little lever down. And it's locked in place. Oh my gosh. So, I was doing it right by the way. You do put the headstock on first. Let's try again. So apparently, oh, we had this right. It goes in here and then there's a little latch. You have to, oh, oh, oh. it's kind of scary. I think it's maybe because it's expensive. I don't want to ruin anything. Aha, right, okay. Let's get in your position. It's totally scary, no lies. First time, maybe it gets easier. Okay, right, we've got it in. This is apparently what we do, and then I pull this lever back at the same time as pushing the neck into the guitar, and hopefully that's it. I'm scared, here we go. Oops. It's in. Yay! I've heard reviews, they're supposed to stay in tune. Henning, Alamo, is in tune. But David Bowie there, is that? Ground control or Major Tom. Right, let's get this tuned up. I've got a tuner here. Is it assembled? Ho 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 ho! Okay, instantly that sounds better than I expected. Just a wee disclaimer, it's not actually that difficult at all to assemble. And you don't need instructions. I'm just kind of stupid and scared. But there was definitely an element of fear the first time trying to put it together because it just seems like an impossible guitar. But it was way more robust than I expected and it's actually pretty easy. Quick test. So it's a travel size guitar. Now I've got a travel size acoustic over here, a D'Angelico one. We're going to give it the old E A E test. It's in the game. On that, on a full size Yamaha, and on this, because I know it's not scientific at all, but let's try it anyway. Right, this is by no way a proper test. It's just this mic that's picking it up, that's it. Here we go, D'Angelico. <laughs> Fur. Yamaha, full size dreadnought. Now that's interesting to me. My experience with travel acoustic guitars is that the Angelico, and I thought it was going to sound all travelly <laughs> and small, but it honestly does sound really big and rich. And you know what's weird? I would not normally play like this on acoustic. That's kind of an electric way I would play, but yeah. Okay, something I'm noticing is it's, ve it's very neck heavy. Yeah. That'll probably be to do with these locking tuners on the back. This is supposed to help with our tuning stability because apparently it's going to maintain tuning.
Very nice, okay. So the test I want to do is, to make it a little bit different, is I want to put it in alter tuning. I want to put it in Dadgad and see if I can stay in Dadgad from Dundee in Scotland to Frankfurt in Germany or Gear Street in Germany. So let's try it out. Okay, sorry, now we're actually in Dadgad. By the way, if you want to know what Dadgad is, standard tuning, E-A-D-G-B-E, -E, Dadgad, exactly what it says in the tin, D-A-D-G-A-D, -A -D -A -D, Dadgad, okay. <laughs> Cool. Right, next stop, let's take it to Germany. And I promise you, we're going to have some fun when we get there. Keep watching. Coming up in part two, the journey to Germany. We actually travel with the travel guitar. We take it in a car, on a bus, and then a plane, and then another car. But I didn't film that. Then, with fellow Scotsman and YouTube legend Colin Scott of Science of Loud, we check out the guitar even further in the most appropriate of places for guitar reviews, Frankfurt Airport, before heading off to 42 Gear Street. So there's part two there, if you want to see it, consider liking the video if you liked it, subscribe if you like, there's the wee subscribe button, that'd be appreciated. Okay, thanks for watching, until next time, see you later!